Alright guys, so back on the uh, 175C and you may or may not be able to tell, I'm under the damn thing. So, um, if you've seen my other videos, you see I'm doing a lot of uh, maintenance on this machine right now. And, uh, you see that black oil dripping out of there? Well, that's why I've just pulled the plug on the engine. And, uh, I should have had to remove this belly pan to get to that engine oil plug. But, somebody has taken the liberty in the past of using a cutting torch and cutting a hole in that belly pan so that they could access that engine oil plug. So, uh, might not be the safest thing to do, you know, now there's a possibility of running something up into there, but it sure does uh, make it a whole lot nicer when you got to change the oil. So, uh, you can tell I've got that back pan off back there. That one was really full of crap. I pulled that off in another video, so... If you didn't see that yet, go to my uh, my channel, then go to my playlists, and you'll see a playlist for this uh, International Harvester 175C. And uh, you'll see that's one of the first things I did, was pull that off and see how nasty it was up under there. So anyhow, I'm waiting on this to quit dribbling. Just a few little dribbles coming down here. Uh, just about filled a bucket up. Um, so it does call for, I think it calls for five gallons in that engine. So... Um, uh, one thing I want to note is uh, I've got it parked on top of uh, a set of railroad ties. That helps to get it up off the ground. It really made it nice for changing that rear frame oil back there. I did that in another video, so check that out if you're uh, interested in how that happened. Uh, you'll see that plug there directly in the center. Um, parking it up on these railroad ties, give me uh, it gives me about eight more inches of clearance under here, and it makes it a whole lot easier for getting buckets under here to drain stuff. So... That's the biggest reason I did that. Now, you'll also notice that uh, you can't see my loader. Well, it's way up there. I do have it propped with the support rod on the uh, uh, the one cylinder the safety rod is in. So, uh, you should never be under something like this without having a safety bar on it. So, I do have that in place. Uh, just about done dribbling here. I'm going to put that plug in. And I'll show you the filter and uh, oil that I'm using to replace. And uh, I'll get out up from under here because this is kind of a pain in the butt crawling around in the gravel and stuff. All right, guys, I'll uh, catch you up here in just a minute. All right, guys, so uh, I was inspecting that plug, and there's no washer on it or anything. Um, feeling up there on the bottom of the oil pan, and I can't feel anything stuck to the bottom of the oil pan either. So I don't know if it calls for one or not, but I don't like the idea of, you know, these flat, I mean, it's a flat surface. Um, I don't like the idea of just those two steel surfaces together. Um, I've got a copper washer here. This is off of a uh, Farmall Super A. I replaced this uh, here a while back when I was doing a lot of work on that tractor. If you're interested in those videos, check out those videos. I got a whole playlist for the Farmall Super A. Uh, but anyhow, this washer was, this is the old one off the Super A. I put a brand new one on it. And I got this washer from HamiltonBobs.com. Yeah, he sells a lot of Farmall Cub parts. So they take the same washer for the Farmall Super A and the Farmall Cub. And as luck would have it, I mean, it fits on here perfectly. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but I'll have to thread that down a little bit, but uh, so I don't know if International just like the same washer for all their drain plugs or what, but being this is a International Harvester crawler loader, I don't know. Uh, fits perfect, so I'm going to use that, and uh, I'll update you here in a minute. Alright, so I crawled up under the uh, machine, put the plug back in, and as I was feeling around up under there putting the plug back in, this fell out. Uh, it was uh, apparently this this is a uh, Teflon washer uh, must have fallen off the plug and was laying up on top of the uh, belly pan up under there so I, I uh, guess there was something on there so that's good but uh, to be honest with you I'm glad I put the copper washer on there because I like the copper washers just a little bit better than these Teflon ones so anyhow uh, I'm glad to see that there was something on it before but I kind of feel like an idiot that I didn't find that earlier so uh, in any case, now we know, guys, if you ever need a washer for the drain plug on your uh, 175C, you can use one off of a Farmall Cub. So that's uh, all I got on this. I'll uh, update you here in just a little bit. All right, well, we're back over at the machine again, and this is the right side of the machine. You see there's the loader. This is the front. On the right-hand side, 
these are the engine oils. They're identical, or excuse me, the engine oil filters. They're identical filters, and uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see the. That's the, uh, the Komatsu or international number. I don't know if it's showing up real well. Anyhow, it cross references to uh, Napa Gold 1784. So that's what I'm gonna put back on it. And uh, it should be as simple as spinning them off and spinning the new ones on. Of course, I'll oil up, always wanna, you know, you oil up your O-rings. Uh, so I'll spin those off. I'll oil up that O-ring a little bit and I'll spin these on. I'll catch you guys up here in a minute. Well, you can see I got the uh, new filters on there. Uh, so I took the first one off, then I took the second one off. To, you know, it was a whole lot easier to get to that back one with this one not in the way. That back one was on there really, really tight. I don't know what the deal was there. I about had to put a breaker bar on the end of my uh, strap wrench, so, um, or, you know, cheater bar. So I don't know what the deal was with that one. The front one wasn't bad, but uh, anyhow, I got them both off, oiled up the O-rings, stuck the new ones on, and uh, again, that Napa 1784 looks like it fits just perfect. So I'll uh, show you the oil we're going to use here in a minute, and I'll show you putting it in. So that'll be it for an oil change here. Well, here's the oil that I'm putting in it. Uh, I've never heard anything bad about this uh, Shell Rotella 15W40. Uh, the book, I think, calls for like a 10 weight, but I was reading on some forums, some guys that are running this exact stuff in their 175s, and they're real happy with it, so that's what I'm going to go with. Um, and if you can't tell, I'm up on top of the machine. Um, this hood panel uh, flips up. It's got a latch on it. You open that up, but it wants to keep falling down, smash my damn hand, so I got it bungee corded up around the muffler just to keep it from falling down and you can see my funnel is bungee corded there um be nice to have about three more hands but anyhow there's the fill uh neck and you can see the plug laying there next to it it's on a chain that plug's got a t-handle on it you want to unscrew that t-handle a couple of turns and that'll relieve pressure off the plug you can pull it out uh the dipstick is the same way it's got this t-handle on there and the t-handle actually turns to tighten the plug in and it's you can't get it out then or you could if you really jerk it but you just unscrew it a couple of turns release pressure off the plug and dipstick pulls right out so uh i'm gonna fill this thing up let's see i've got four gallons in it and i put about half of that one in there it should be it should be on the stick now i'm gonna i'm gonna fill it up till it's registering on the dipstick full and then I'm going to fire the engine up, run the engine for a little bit, uh, circulate the oil through them filters, uh, give it a minute, and then check it again. And I would expect I'll have to add just a little bit. The book, I think, calls for five gallons, and it was just about five gallons that I pulled out. So I would expect probably have to use the rest of that one there. So really not a whole lot different than uh, changing oil on anything else. Um, nothing spectacularly different with this machine. So... Uh, if you guys got any questions or anything, leave them in the comments down below. If you like this video, click the like button. And if you want to see more like it, click the subscribe button. And I'm doing all kind of different maintenance on this machine right now. And uh, you never know, I'm working on, there's five tractors in that barn. I got an old Alice over here needs some work. And I got to work on, you see the boom on that Komatsu, uh, that PC50 over there. So uh, click that subscribe button and you get to see all this silly stuff i'm working on here uh thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll catch you on the next video